County is a football <laughs> factory, so there's a little surprise that our three Watson Rockford MVP candidates from week seven are all from that county. And before we name our MVP, let's look back at the top performances from last week. It's the rule we follow on 13 on your sidelines. Our candidates for MVP always come in three. Here are the nominees for week seven, Watson Rockford Most Valuable Player Award. There wasn't much Leroy Quinn didn't do in Oak Ridge's 34-7 win over North Muskegon. The senior running back didn't just run for 178 yards and three touchdowns. He also pulled down one incredible interception. Meanwhile, Darius Williams didn't run a whole lot for Orchard View last week. But when he did, the sophomore running back made it count. On only five carries, he managed 143 yards and three touchdowns as the Cardinals cruise to an easy win over Muskegon Heights. Rounding out our nominees this week is Reith's Puffer's Evan Mosqua. In his team's dominating win over Fruitport, the senior quarterback not only passed for 122 yards, he also rushed for 61 yards, scoring one touchdown. And now, without further ado, here is your winner. Congratulations to Oak Ridge's Lee Roy Quinn after that big performance last week with three touchdowns and that one hand interception. He's our Watson Rockford third on your sidelines MVP. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, mention that big win. I know you guys are playing in tough conditions. I know that's yeah. that's easy pickings for a running back to get a lot of yards, but then you did it on defense too. How much fun was last week's game? Uh, it, you know, it was really fun, especially with these guys. You know, so if we go out there and do, you know, we take care of business. So. It's fun doing it with these guys. Speaking of taking care of business, you guys able to lock up the West Michigan Championship tonight with that big win over Ravana. I ran those highlights. You guys were down 20 to seven. What changed in the second half to get you back in the game? Definitely our first score. We knew if we came out and got a first score that things were going to turn around for us. And, you know, they did. And then our defense coming up big because uh, they had that uh, really good receiver, Kelvin Shulow. So, yeah. We discussed your physicality. I know there was a scrimmage in August where you guys scrimmaged um, Muskegon Heights, and their coach was singling you out, saying, this is a guy who doesn't skip the weight room. This is a guy who does his strength and conditioning right. Do you take pride in you know, the way you go out there and play strong football? Definitely, but you know, I couldn't do it without everyone else on my team, so yeah. All right, we're going to talk about those teammates. I know that, like I said, tonight was a big team win. You brought a couple of your teammates here. Why don't you introduce it to a few guys that you brought with you? All right, this is Nate Fair, Will Scraver, William Watson, we'll call him Coco, and Ethan Carmine. All right, Coco and the Eagles are West Michigan Conference champs. Congrats on that win. Congrats on the MVP. Thank you.